Oh, hello everyone. This is Almir, VE3DAL. Uh, today I am here with my new uh, mini dipole antenna, uh, which I half I built it myself and uh, had the other half I, I bought some of the stuff. Uh, initially, I was going to get the um, MFJ2289 uh, big ear, and uh, when I was ready to put the order in, um, they told me that uh, it would take months for me to get it because uh, it was on back order. So I said, well, forget it, you know, I'll go for something else. So um, what I did is uh, I got the uh, MFJ347, which is uh, the hub for the uh, mini dipole. And on the same website where I was ordering, um, he suggested that if you do a combination with two uh, MFJ 1979, which is the 17 feet uh, whip, uh, telescope whip, um, and coil, you can go up to like uh, get 40 meters band. So I said, okay, I will, I'll do that. So I ordered them and I ordered two 1979 uh, telescope whip plus the uh, 347. And uh, so when I got the order, uh, it came in the 347 and only one 1979, only one of the telescope whip. And the other one on the order said, uh, uh, it's on back order. So I said, oh, well, you know, uh, I'll, what I'll do is, uh, you know, I thought, well, I'll use the, I have, uh, uh, 1977 which is the 12 feet uh, telescope whip so I said well maybe I will use that with the coil and uh, we'll probably I will get up to like 20 meters at least and um, so I built the coil myself like a sort of a mini coil like uh, probably half of the size of the, the my other coil antenna and uh, and I can get up to 20 meters, not 40 meters. Uh, for, I can get very close, actually, to 40 meters. Uh, I think it resonates some, like uh, somewhere uh, eight megahertz, somewhere in there, but not not lower than that. So that's okay. So I guess uh, you know, I'll, I'll, this is my first time trying. Um, you know, I tried at home a little bit to see the SWR. It, it was, it looks okay. I don't have my antenna tuner with me. Um, and uh, so hopefully I can get, uh, you know, a good combination there, uh, the SWR and, uh, and the impedance and, and we'll see. It's just, I, I just set up, it, but just almost finished set up, it just behind me here. Uh, and uh, I'll, I'll give you a closer look uh, because it's kind of wind out there. And, uh, and I don't know, sometimes like filming outside, uh, you know, I, this is not the, the, the best camera for, for anyway. So, um, uh, yeah, so uh, let's see how this thing works and uh, let's see if we uh, do some contacts All right, so this is my setup here. Uh, I got my uh, tripod um, The tripod is about uh, nine nine feet high and then I got a little uh, About four somewhere about four feet of the PVC pipe So to help me a little bit and I don't know if this is gonna be high enough um, you know, uh, to, to get signals, to get a good signals. So this is it. And uh, so we just have to extend the uh, telescope whips and then uh, figure out where to, uh, to to top the coil. And I believe it was somewhere about 12 turns for uh, 20 meters. And uh, so this is the hub I was talking about, uh, the uh, 347. Uh, this one here is the 1979 and the uh, 1977. Okay, so let's just check the uh, SWR. Okay. And I think that's the best one that I got, 1.51. Um, it's a little bit on the high end of the band. And uh, let's check for some data. Uh, not too sure if this is, is gonna be that good. Uh, some of the stuff I, I I don't know like I am as a as a new ham you know we're still learning uh, but uh, we'll see of course my uh, delta loop antenna this data it's like 50 ohms 50 ohms the Z and the R and the SWR is like 1.01 .01 or something like that so to compare of I, I know it there is no comparison for us probably is uh, this antenna 
I think is uh, kind of too, uh, it's too low to the ground for the 20 meters probably. But uh, I'll give it a try anyways, well, since I'm here, we'll see. Victor Echo 3 Delta Alpha Lima Portable. Victor Echo 3 Delta Alpha Lima Portable. Victor Echo 3 Delta Alpha Lima Portable. Roger, Roger, Kilo 5499, I got you uh, 5555, five, five, five. I am testing a uh, mini dipole antenna uh, portable, QSL. Uh, it's doing the trick, I'm working on the inside half wave, you're on top of the cliff, so uh, yeah, I'll just watch into it, so we'll get back to you on the My uh, 20 watts, 20 watts, QSL. Uh, did you say zero, Tony? I'm sorry, uh, come in again? My power is 2-0, 20 watts, 2-0. Okay, hey, it's, it's, it's a 2-0. We're doing the job today. Uh, yeah, that antenna and radio combination is working, so I uh, appreciate you chasing. Thank you very much for the contact and the report, and uh, good luck out there, 73. First contact. Um, I found the uh, the reception. It's it's not that great, but then again, I think it's kind of too low, and I think the car it might be interfering in the, in the reception. Uh, but uh, he gave me a report of uh, five seven, I think, which is not too bad. But I think the most important for this antenna, I think, is the height. I I think. Anyways, learning. So. Roger, Roger. Thank you very much. Uh, you're five seven, five seven. I'm just testing a uh, mini dipole antenna QSL. QSL, QSL. And is this Elmer? Oh, over. Uh, uh, Roger, Roger. Oh, okay, I got you about a five six coming into Minnesota from Ontario. Over. Uh, thank you very much for the five six. Uh, over. Uh, Roger, Roger. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, in fact, uh, this is the first time you're just uh, testing this uh, mini dipole portable. I uh, just need a little bit more height. Roger, Roger. Well, it's doing a pretty good job for you, buddy. So, uh, uh, any time that we can give you a signal report, we will. Over. Uh, Roger, Roger, my friend. Thank you very much for the contact and uh, have fun out there. 73. Oh, there you go, the second contact. Um, actually, the report is not too bad, not too bad, 5-6. Uh, you know, uh, I hopefully I, I could get a better reception. Uh, today, the 20 meter bands, there's only about half a dozen guys available out there, so it's not much going on out there today. Uh, but uh, yeah, so it's not too bad. Victor Echo 3 Delta Alpha Lima Portable. Roger, Roger. Uh, thank you very much. Good afternoon. Uh, Victor Echo 1638 4882. You're 5555 into Ottawa, Ontario. QSL? Roger, Roger. Well, we're not too far from you. We're just down at the uh, Tokyo Campus Conservation Area. A couple of miles south of you guys. Oh, 
Oh, Roger, Roger. Uh, thank you very much for the contact and uh, good luck out there, uh, my friend. Thanks very much. 73, have a great day. 73. Victor Echo 3, Delta Alpha Lima Portable. Oh boy, I heard one way in the background. I think there's a Victor Echo 3, is that correct? Uh, Roger, Roger, Victor Echo 3, Delta Alpha Lima Portable. Delta Alpha Lima. Okay, where are you located at? I get the name on you. Uh, Roger, Roger, I'm located in Ottawa, Ontario, QSL. All right, guys, uh, time to wrap it up. Uh, overall, I think I'm pretty happy with this antenna. Um, I didn't think I was gonna make any contact and I uh, end up to make a few ones. So I'm pretty happy with, uh, due to the simplicity and like how easy it is to put up this antenna. I mean, it's like in about five, seven minutes. And uh, so, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure I will consider this antenna taking with me uh, even during the winter time. Um, the one thing that I have to figure out is uh, how can I uh, build a um, high master like Paul, um, you know, at least I would say 15 feet high, between 15 and 20 feet high. So that's one thing I have to figure out. I'm pretty sure it will uh, improve a lot with this antenna because right now it's, uh, it's kind of too low. It's only like probably about 11 feet high. And, uh, and the car is not, it's not that far, it's kind of close together. So I'm not sure if it has, you know, it, anything to do with that. But uh, the SWR wasn't that great. I think it was like 1.4 and uh, uh, without the antenna tuner. So, but it's not bad as you guys heard, you know, some of the reports was pretty good. And uh, yeah, so we'll see. I'm, I'm pretty happy overall, you know, uh, for, you know, a couple of hundred dollars, you know, that's not too bad. Okay, guys, so uh, I'll see you the next one. And thank you very much for uh, watching and uh, all the best for you, 73.